featherweight division. Introducing the athlete in the blue gi, weighing in at 112.8 pounds, fighting out of Irwindale, California, and representing Logic Jiu-Jitsu, Kaori Hernandez. And our first women's match of the night, our only women's match on the card here, we have Kaori Hernandez coming out here in the blue gi, fighting out of ZR Team, a California local. These ladies have a lot of history. And now, introducing the athlete in the white gi, weighing in at 116.8 pounds, fighting out of Costa Mesa, California, and representing art of jujitsu, Jessa Khan. There we see Jessica Khan, fan favorite here, hometown hero. Here's a tale of tape. And our light featherweight match here, we have Jessica Khan, 21 years old, five feet tall, weighing at 116.8, and Kaori, 23, 5'1", 1, 112.8, fighting with Logic Jiu Jitsu. Jessica Khan in the white, Kaori in the blue gi. They fought several times at Purple Belt, but I do not know, and I could not find out if they fought at Black Belt. I didn't see anything in our archives. I looked everywhere. <laughs> Jessica Khan generally got the better of those exchanges at the color belt level. But a lot's changed since then, Kendall. Yeah, they have had a lot of changes, both with teams, with training situations, with accolades and different competitions and uh, weight classes and things of that nature. So there has been a lot of history between these two ladies, but I like to see them now again a little bit later down the line with different experiences under their belt. We have a uh, double pull here. Obviously, time expired. So back to the feet. One penalty a beach piece. And I will say, having watched these ladies at the colored belts, this is not surprising. Um, we've seen this in many of their matches in their history. Here, Guy Mendez in the corner right, telling Jessica that when she does come yeah, up on top to be very, very aggressive. So there is not a double pull. We know that because it's past 20 seconds and we haven't seen a penalty. So this means someone's on bottom, although it's not quite obvious who. We do not know who has guard position at this point. But we do know that whoever comes up on top will either be awarded an advantage or two points. Look. Look. Now this is interesting because the athletes are going to stay in this position because it was not a double pull, but they are still both awarded a penalty due to inactivity or unwillingness to continue pushing the match to a new direction or to improve their position. So there's another penalty, but they get to stay here. And again, we still don't know who's on bottom, Chase. Yeah, great point. And also two penalties very early in this match. Uh, in this scenario, that could be very tricky because neither seems to be too excited to come up on top, right? They, maybe it's the lack of certainty on who might be technically on bottom. Here you see Jessica Khan now exploding the top. And straight into a pass here. Heating the advice there of Dean Mendez. Wasted no time once she came up right into passing, earning her points. And it looks like she was awarded two points, which means Kaori had the bottom position. We didn't know that, but just came up on top, got two points for the sweep. Now in near pass position with a very, very... Nice grip with that left hand, keeping Kaori's shoulder pinned to the ground up there, and she is awarded the pass points. Straight into mount, Jessica Khan looking for a head and arm choke here. Once she got moving forward, Jessica Khan has not wasted any time. Nine points on the board. Seven minutes, adjust the position. 
get these arms back. 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 The Big back transition there from Jessa, almost to the back, then back to the mount, now back to the back, almost has her hips on the back of Kaori, trying to keep her spine aligned with Kaori's as she transitions. Yeah, look at that move from Jessa Khan, incredible awareness there just to follow that transition as it went. Key Mendez encouraging an armbar here from the corner. And another four points out of here to Jessa. Jessa kind of hunting for the finish here. Raise your lap. Raise your lap. This looks tight. Kiori's turning a little red out there. Kimenez is calling for an Ezekiel choke here. Jessa looks to, to enact that, but has to make an adjustment instead. Seventeen points now for Jessica. Keep working to see. Start throwing your uh, left leg over. Walking the triangle from the back. If the Ezekiel's there, you get your hand in there. Set. You gotta move this left arm. The left, yeah. Stay up. The, the left, left arm. Get your left arm. Yeah, just what beautiful arm. patience and control here from Jess. I like that she's continuing to look for this submission, but not in a way that loses the position. She's very aggressive here, consistently chasing the next step, paying very close attention to Guy Mendez in the corner, making the adjustments necessary, but not in a way that has ever relaxed. She has not given any space for Kaori to start to make some improvements. Which is such a beautiful position when you can connect the arm and the head together like this in an isolation. It gives you access to the arm triangle. It gives you access to this uh, Ezekiel that Guy Mendes has been coaching her through. But it also keeps you secure in the mount and or the back. And Lucas Hosh in the corner urging Kaori to try to free her left arm. She wants to turn to her left, not her right side. But Jessa doing a great job trying to force Kaori onto the right shoulder consistently, making that very difficult to escape from. Start moving your legs up. Your left knee will go over the arm. Grab inside your sleeve as far as you tuck neck. Kaori, your left arm. Your left arm back. Another fast transition there from Jessa, lightning quick, and now transitioning into the guard. That was an interesting set of threats here because she doesn't, Jessa does not have the arm and the head isolated inside the legs, but she can still attack arm bars here with this high locked guard if she is able to keep the shoulders of Kaori compressed to keep the posture down. So now we see a bit of a better adjustment here from Jessa, climbing her legs up higher. She could expose a nice arm bar from here. But Kaori doing a good job trying to stay out of danger. She'll look to build her posture back now inside the closed guard and hopefully look to open the guard and pass. I mean, man, 17 points to make up. 245 or 230 now left on the clock. That is a big ask. Yeah, but it's a testament to her toughness for hanging in there, right? Yeah. A lot of uh, lesser athletes might have quit underneath the pressure and points deficit. But Kiori now looking to make something happen here. Yeah, I mean, some of those uh, choke submissions, some of those submissions earlier on looked really, really tight. Go two minutes. Let's go. Look for the Get your grips. And make your pose. Get her sleeve. Get one on her arms. Go all the way up. Nice. No, no, no. Jessa definitely looking for the submission, though. I like that Jessa's continuing to hunt. She looks very, very aggressive here. She wants a submission finish with two minutes left to go. Go up. Nice. Open, open. Here we 
Kiori now looking to enact some passing here. But Jessica Khan still looking very fresh. Very agile on bottom here. Yeah, that right leg tied up in the in that lapel um, of Kaori's left arm is going to be very difficult to unwind in order to get some passing going. It can be very frustrating with this open guard passing, feeling like your shoulder is anchored to your opponent's leg, right? Really takes away the use of that left arm completely almost. Looking for a triangle now, Jessica Khan. Fully locked triangle, almost has a perfect angle here. Might but be switching Kaori. to the arm, tough to see. And Kaori's sitting back now, maybe throwing her legs over the stomach to defend. If we can maybe switch to the other side, there it is. We can see going for the arm is Jessica Khan. That is some definite crunch there on that elbow of Kaori Hernandez. Ooh, looks like some Kiori adjustments absorbing. are going on there, yeah. A lot of punishment, absorbing a lot of punishment here. She is very, very tough. I mean, can you imagine the amount of athletes that would have already tapped in this match from one thing or another? Jessica still has enough time, though, to make the adjustments, maybe get to finish. Kaori does end up tapping. What a, f what a match for Jessica. Very dominant win here for the AOJ athlete. And your winner of the Black Belt Light Featherweight Super Fight, Jessa Khan, representing Art of Jiu Jitsu. Huge win for Jessa Khan here. Let's take a look at the replay, some of the best moments from that match. Really was one way traffic as Jessica Khan imposed her will from the eight minute mark.